Welcome ladies and gentlemen, it would appear Star Wars The Acolyte is a huge bomb. That's right, Variety is now reporting that it can't even crack the numbers that Ahsoka did. Now Ahsoka was not a great viewed show, it was pretty bad quite frankly. Uh, worldwide viewership is what they were noting at the time. Uh, yeah, The Acolyte's worse than that. Not only is it the worst reviewed show, the worst rated piece of any Star Wars media, it's now one of the lowest viewed as well. So let's take a look at this. Hit subscribe if you're new here, guys. Turn the bell notifications on. And I keep saying it, but I've got to do it. Support via Patreon. We get big demonetization here. I try to avoid taking adverts. You'll never really see me do an advert. And the way to help me keep avoiding adverts is Patreon. $2. There you go. Down below. Let's check it out, shall we? So the Acolyte reaches 11.1 .1 million views in five days. Nearly 3 million short of the Ahsoka debut. Now remember, you've got to pass this up with the information we already have at hand with respect to Rotten Tomatoes, right? Rotten Tomatoes, worst viewed in terms of the ratings. It's like it's the worst rated of any piece of Star Wars media. IMDB, worst rated. You look at Metacritic, again, awful ratings. Pretty bad, quite frankly. Pretty, pretty goddamn bad. Now, that paired with the fact that it couldn't, I mean, it couldn't even top Ahsoka. In fact, it's 3 million views short of Ahsoka. Worldwide. Worldwide. These numbers are terrible. It's less than 5% of Disney's entire subscriber base decided to watch this. That's not good. It's not good at all. So it did 11.1 .1 million views in five days. Now, that figure as well can't be believed. And the reason why it can't be believed is due to how Disney calculates a view. Which we'll get to in a minute. So, let's take a look at the Variety article. So it says this. Update. Though it initially appeared that the Acolyte may have had a stronger debut than 2023's Ahsoka, Disney shared that the first episode of its latest Star Wars... They say first episode. I don't think it's the first episode. I think it's both calculated, by the way. I think it's both calculated together. So it says uh, that that reached 11.1 .1 million views in its first five days, almost 3 million short of what Ahsoka achieved in the same amount of time. The Acolyte still represents Disney Plus's biggest series premiere of 2024, however, which is not anything to sing and dance about. Like, what have they released this year? Nothing. Like, oh, it's the biggest release. Yeah, with nothing releasing that you are... What? That's, what? That's dumb. What are you doing, man? Um, but anyway, there's more. So just to go through how it's calculated. A view is calculated by dividing the number of hours each title is watched by its runtime. Now, they released two at a time for the debut. And they did this. They've been doing this for most things. And the reason is, is that it totals an hour. A view is calculated by dividing the numbers of hours of each title is watched by its runtime. So you get the runtime up, right? You can generate more views. It's a way to generate more views. It's a way to deceive people. Not smart. Well, I mean, it is smart, but I mean, you only have to see through that as a lie to go, hmm, yeah, it's not, not that great then, is it? Um... And then we've got articles like this from That Park Place. Confirmed the Acolyte performs worse than Ahsoka. Global minutes viewed less than Ahsoka US premiere viewership. So let's take a look. A new report confirms that the Acolyte performed worse than Ahsoka on Disney+. Plus. Deadline's Katie Campion reported that according to Lucasfilm Data, the Acolyte's two-episode premiere... See, Deadline is saying it's two episodes, not one. But the, both, both episodes could only attract 11.1 .1 million views. So, 5 million each. That's appalling. That's so bad. And that's even if you believe what they're saying, remember, guys. Even if you believe what they're saying. Now, the report itself confirms, as this article notes, that the Acolyte performed worse than the most recent Star Wars live-action series, uh, Ahsoka. It says, according to a blog post on StarWars.com, Lucasfilm reported that the debut episode of Ahsoka garnered 14 million views, making the series number one globally on the streaming platform. So, again, that's global views. Global. Which is, that's still not good. 
So it says, in a footnote, Lucasfilm noted that a view is defined as total stream time divided by runtime available. Hmm. So the total runtime of the first episode of Ahsoka was 56 minutes and 25 seconds. That's why they didn't release two. That's why. The total runtime of the first episode of Ahsoka was 56 minutes and 25 seconds. However, the series released two episodes back to back for its premiere. I wonder why. Again, to keep the numbers high. So the second episode's runtime totaled 43 minutes 57 seconds. That means combined, the two episode runtime was 100 minutes. The Acolyte released two episodes on its premiere date last Tuesday on June 4th. The total runtime for both episodes totaled 73 minutes and 55 seconds. Now that means. The total minutes viewed globally for the Acolyte was around 820 million, while Ahsoka was likely around 1.4 billion. Big difference. Big difference. They're st they're st they're still not great when you're thinking about global views. But yeah, pretty pretty crazy. Now it says here, however, it's unclear how accurate the Walt Disney Company's reporting actually is. Data tracking company Nielsen reported that Ahsoka's two episode premiere earned 829 million minutes viewed in the United States alone. Now that's important to note because that is an independent tracker. It's important. Independent trackers are better than the horse's mouth, as it were. So as noted by X user, now it's known that total minutes viewed dropped to 575 million minutes viewed the week of its finale. Uh, and that was worse than Andor, which racked up 674 million minutes the week its finale debuted. Andor was great, loved Andor. Uh, Andor had a three-episode premiere on September 21st, 2022. According to Nielsen, it racked up 624 million minutes viewed. Makes sense. Again, you can see why they're releasing bulk. That is why. So they can be like, it's amazing. So infamously, Andor showrunner Tony Gilroy detailed that the show was chasing the audience. He told Variety, I think, it was I think I was surprised. I thought the show would go the other way, that we would have this gigantic instantaneous audience that would just be everywhere, but that it would take forever for non-Star Wars people to, or critics or my cohort of friends to get involved in the show. The opposite's happened. We ended up with all this critical praise, all this deep appreciation and the understanding from really surprising number of sources and we're chasing the audience. I really liked Andor. Well worth a check. Uh, so other comparisons, the Acolyte performed worse than Obi-Wan Kenobi. That's bad. Um, as well as Mandalor Mandalorian Season 2, Obi-Wan Kenobi premiered with the two episodes in May 2022 racked up 958 million minutes viewed according to nielsen the mandalorian season 2 premiered in october 2020 racked up one well just shy of 1.1 billion just over 1 billion minutes uh, and that only had a single episode premiere even the mandalorian season 3 which only had a single episode premiere brought in 823 million minutes so you can see how bad it is it says here it's abundantly clear that the show is a failure it's also another piece of evidence that under the leadership of Kathleen Kennedy and Bob Iger, Star Wars is bleeding viewers and fans at an extremely rapid rate. Uh, whilst there is an abundance of blame to go on Kathleen Kennedy for greenlighting the show and Bob Iger for continuing to allow Kathleen Kennedy to greenlight Star Wars shows like The Acolyte, showrunner and former assistant to Harvey Weinstein, Leslie Headland, also bears a significant brunt and she knows it. She told the New York Times, if it doesn't succeed, it's because of me. That's really scary to think about. Well, there you go. We can just blame you then, can't we? So there you go, guys. Pretty bad. Literally, The Acolyte is a complete dead show. I will, of course, watch episode 3 tomorrow and give you my review. Thoughts down below. Take care. Bye-bye now.